Hello viewers, in this video we will discuss about the basic operational concepts of a computer. This is one of the very important concepts in computer organization because we should have to know what is happening in between CPU and the main memory. This is one of the very important concepts that we must have to know it. So let's get started with that. So basically I would like to try a simple diagram to represent uh, how memory and CPU are communicated each other. So let's get started with that. Basically we have a CPU simple CPU architecture I would like to take it. CPU stands for central processing unit everybody know it and then we can draw in another simple diagram it is called the RAM. RAM are also called as the main memory right random access memory we also called it. So whenever uh, any particular program that you are going to execute in the computer first the instructions must have to be loaded from the hard disk because user will write a program right for example you, you as a user you have written a particular program right that program must, must be saved with a .c extension or .java extension you want, whenever you want to run that program that entire program must have to be loaded from the hard disk to the ram right let us see that how we can represent it in my case i would like to uh, consider this as a hard disk drive right in this hard disk drive we may have uh, various programs in it like for example you want to run a vlc meter player vlc meter player is a program that you're going to run photoshop is a program right web browser you are currently running uh, for surfing the internet that is also a program so it doesn't matter whatever it may be the program that you are running in the operating system that must have to be saved in the hard disk first so whatever the program that you want to execute it whenever you open that program that entire program must have to be loaded from the hard disk to the main memory main memory are also called as ram right from here the ram the instructions will be passed to the cpu from where the instructions are being executed one by one and if it is required it will store back the result to the memory otherwise it will simply pass through io so this is one of the uh, basic operational flow that means we can say whatever the program that you saved that will be uh, done in the hard disk and from the hard disk that will be saved to the ram from the ram that will be passed to the cpu please try to remember this entire of flow because this is really important if, without uh, knowing the flow of operation computer organization is really difficult to understand so please try to understand this one right let us see the simple diagram we have a ram here the ram is actually arranged as different cells here uh, some of the instructions we kept and some of the data we kept here right these are all the different address locations of this particular memory right next come to the cpu in the cpu we have various uh, registers here right we have special purpose registers and general purpose registers along with that there is an alu and the control unit so let us discuss about the individual parts of this particular cpu let's come to the program counter whenever you initiate any particular operation the program counter first initiate its value for example in my case instruction one the address is 001 so the program counter currently holds the 001 address because the program counter always fetches the next instruction to be executed by the CPU. This is clear. I'm telling you again that the program counter will fetches the next instruction to be executed by the CPU. In this case, we have no instruction. So this is 001 will be the first instruction. So uh, program counter will fetches 001 now next whatever it may be the address fetched by the program counter will be copied to the mar that means memory address register the memory address register holds the address location which which is fetched by the program counter right one important point mar always holds the currently executing instruction address right next if we go for the uh, ir instruction register the instruction register will hold the data that means it holds the instruction that was specified in this particular address location right next from ir from ir instruction is already stored so from ir whatever it may be the instruction that is in specified there is some uh, format for the instruction every instruction there will be some format whatever the instruction that is specified that will be passed to the control unit control unit is always controls the entire uh, operational flow in the cpu but anyway one of the very important point uh, one of the very important uh, uh, module in the control unit is the decoder the decoder will actually decode the instruction it will identify what operation it needs to be performed based on the instruction that is retrieved so now in this case i can say simply see control unit i'm simply representing it as a decoder 
right normally every instruction have a simple cycle that is fetch decode and execute every instruction for example if you have a 10 instructions 10 instructions must have to do the same process like fetching of instruction decoding of instruction execution of instruction now in this case uh, this is till ir it is completely called as a fetching phase and then whenever it reaches to the decoder it will go for the decoding state after that it will be passed to the alu alu stands for arithmetic and logical unit it will perform all level the arithmetic operations as well as the logical operations in the computer arithmetic operations means plus minus into divided by right as well as logical operations means logical and logical or logical not right less than greater than etc etc so all those operations come under the all those operations are performed by the alu right this is the thing and whenever there is a temporary values that you want to hold so those temporary values can be stored in this general purpose registers r not r1 etc till rn there may be different uh, various registers we have here those are all called as the general purpose registers but of course we can say program counter mar ir mdr right these are all called as the special purpose registers r1 r not r1 r2 till rn is called as the general purpose registers so there is an another uh, register called mdr mdr stands for memory data register we also call that as memory buffer register why we use that whenever the instruction is ready with us we need to fetch the data for performing the calculation for example in my case the instruction is add that means we can simply say as a simple example we can say addition we are performing some addition we have the instruction in the ir right whenever that ir is passed to the alu for performing some operation it needs a data right so where the data will be available the data is still available in the ram again so we need to fetch the data too so for that we need to uh, use the mdr as a major source that means mdr will pass the mdr will connect this ram and the data will be fetched and that will be assigned to the that will be sent to the alu for performing the arithmetic operations or maybe the logical operations this is the entire flow of operation okay uh, let us do the revision of the things whatever we discussed now right we have a ram here ram is called the primary memory it consists of different instructions as well as the data right there is an interconnection between ram and the cpu so here we have a set of registers program counter which is used to hold the address of the next instruction to be fetched next mar mar stands for memory address register whatever it may be the instruction whatever it may be the address that is fetched by the program counter will be copied into the mar right mar uh, means memory address register which is holding the currently being executed instruction address right next instruction register we have so whatever it may be the address that is holding by the mar that instruction will be fetched by the ir that means that instruction entire instruction will be copied to the ir in this case add is an instruction right the ir will hold the add right mdr which is used to take the data and uh, if it is required it will store back to the memory that means it can it is a two directional we can simply say the data can be fetched from the memory as well as data can be sent back to the memory whenever it is really required and then we have a decoder right the decoder will decode its decode its operation right i don't say that it, it will convert into binary form no not at all so whenever you are storing some data in the memory you are simply telling to the system that all the data all the instructions that you have taken are storing in the form of a binary numbers right that is already converted into binary form so whenever it is received by the decoder decoder will decode it as an opcode right whenever it is say for example uh, there are some indications you can say uh, one for example one perform addition two perform subtraction like that there are specific codes instruction set will be there so the decoder will uh, take the help of the instruction set it will perform the appropriate instruction to be executed right in my case i can say ir will receive a code as one the decoder will identify code as one it will perform some kind of operation by the alu right here alu performs either arithmetic as, as well as logical operations okay let us see the same process in the step by step approach right what is going to be happen in the first step second step third step etc so first whatever the program that you want to run that will be loaded into the ram first from the your hard disk right this is the step one right one have, once done that after being loaded all your data so that instructions must be loaded into the cpu so who is going to be initiate that operation ultimately the program counter we already know that program counter will always holds the address of the next instruction to be fetched or executed right in this case we have an address of 001 001 will be loaded into the program counter that is a step one 
what will be the step two so whatever it may be the address that is holding by the program counter that will be copied into the mar so now mar contains an address of currently being executing instruction that means in this case we have instruction one address in the mar that means instruction one address here is 001 so here we have mar holding the 001 address initially we have program counter also storing 001 once it is being copied the next instructions will be uh, the next processor will follows but the program counter will increment its value every time it increments its value so now 001 will be replaced with 002 that means the program counter value got incremented because the instruction is currently being executed in the cpu so program counter no need to hold the same address it will increment that address so now the program counter value is 002 program counter always holds the address of the next instruction to be fetched or executed right now mar is holding the 001 in that particular memory uh, location 001 we have an instruction called the inst1 or we can say that addition instruction so that addition instruction will be passed through the data lines to this instruction register so this is the third step now we have an instruction here perform some addition now after that that will be passed to the decoding this is the fourth step after that it will perform some operation this is the fifth step right next whenever it is performing any particular operation it needs to retrieve the data right so the data can be retrieved through mdr so whenever it is really necessary the data will be fetched from the mdr so we can say this is a sixth step it will perform the fetching operation directly right again it will take the data it will send back the required data to the alu right similarly it is the returning process eight nine it will perform the operation if it is required the, it will use the general purpose registers that means r0 r1 r2 any of the registers it will use for the internal calculations now once alu perform that operation that will be sent back to the amdr mdr will store back to the memory where it is really required if it is really required that's it guys that is the basic operational flow of a computer